Well, hi everybody. I know that everybody's been waiting for this project. Oh, this is such an easy, fun, fun project. This is what you call a dozen plate. They've been really popular back in the 1800s. Well, today I'm going to show you how to put the, the Dreslin plate together. We're going to do three layers of it. This is our first layer. And also, I will be putting the pattern. It is going to be in the comments. And then you tap on the comments and then you can enlarge your picture. The whole thing is going to be 18 inches long. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a real simple, easy pattern that you can do yourself. And we need to do a pattern something like this. Okay. And this one here is 8 inches long. On the top part, it is 4 inches, about 3 inches on the top, right here and 18 inches and of course I'll explain and show you there's going to be pictures too that will show you how to get the point and you need to cut 8 inches you need to cut 22 pieces 22 pieces makes a whole circle in this particular pattern and then we're going to cut another one and that's going to be seven inches long okay you're going to cut 22 of these and then we have one which is a six inch you're going to cut 22 of these and we're also going to cut a six and a half inch circle okay that's the center piece now let me show you how you put the whole plate together. This is our bottom layer. Now, supposing you were going to put it directly on a quilt, which you can, which is fine. What you do is you lay it on your fabric, the bottom. This is your bottom piece. Make sure it's nice and pressed. And um, we're going to sew right on top. And we're going to sew from the bottom all the way up to about here. About a quarter inch from the top. And we're going to tack down every petal. About a, about a quarter of an inch, I would say, from the edge. And after we get our first layer done, then we're going to come in with our second layer. And we're just going to lay it on top. Make sure it's all ironed and pressed. Now you can do point to point if you like, or you could do it in between, however way you would like. And you set it on top. Make sure it's good and pressed. Okay. And we're going to sew another, right here, another line right here, about a quarter inch from the edge, all the way up to the edge of this point. We're not going to sew this point, okay? We're going to sew from here all the way down here. We're going to go all the way around. Now, you have your bottom layer, your next layer, and this is our top layer. You're going to do the same identical thing. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful purple? And we're going to lay that right on top. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go ahead and sew from this point all the way here. Remember, we don't want to sew these points. We want them a little fluffy. If you want, you can tack down the points. If you feel you want to, that is fine. Um, the best type of thread to use is, well, Emily, she calls it invisible thread. It's plastic clear thread that you use to tack it down. And in the center, we just go ahead and we lay our center piece right in the center and we tack that all the way around. 
And what I use is I use lightweight interfacing. And then I cut it and I flip it and I press it. It comes out nice. And we just lay it right on top like that. And we tack the whole thing down. Now I got pictures explaining how to make these points and pictures to show you how to sew them. It's very, very easy. Once you learn this pattern, you will love it. Let me tell you, it's such an easy quilt. You'll start making them and you won't stop making them. Um, I cut out my own um, template. I made my own ruler, what have you. Mine is, I have eight inches, seven, six, five, four, and uh, this is what I use. This is what I use to put on my fabric, and I just lay it down, and I cut it out. Okay. So this is called a Dresden plate, and it's back, way back in the 1800s. Um, they used to just do one layer. Well, I saw this, and I decided, oh, I love purple and white, and I was going to do a three layer. So this is what you call a three layer. You can... Put it right on top of a quilt and um, just put it right in the center if you like. Maybe some different colors in the corners. Voila. And you got yourself a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilt. Okay. I just wanted to share this with you. I know everybody's been waiting to see this. And I've been excited waiting to show you this. So um, we're going to have another video. We're going to take... My little, little sewing machine, my SE425 um, Brothers. And we're going to show you how you can sew it as a long arm. Okay? Please do not post anything about it. Uh, we don't want to spoil the surprise. But we will be getting that video out this week to you. Okay, well, thank you, and happy sewing, and Emily, my sewing assistant, she is waving hi. Hi, Emily. Okay, we will see her in the next video, too. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Happy sewing.